Hello from the honey farm. Um, it's October 1st. It's kind of a cool and breezy day today. I'm out this Sunday morning just assessing hives for weight. Um, the hives are pretty much fed up now. I just want to see how much more they need. If they need any more, uh, I plan on making another round anyways for sure. Um, and I'm going to show you just a few tricks and what I do to assess my hives for weight and um, just how I feed my bees. So my wintering strategy starts in August. That's when the queen uh, starts laying the winter nest. She'll lay from August into September and it tapers off into October. So my strategy involves single box management. Um, I, uh, I take all the bees down to single boxes and I feed them up for winter. And that's all the space I feel they need to overwinter. Um, uh, end of August, after the honey boxes are pulled off, uh, we push them down to the single box and she'll maintain a nest of uh, three, four, or five frames of brood that time. So about that time we start feeding her hives and we start feeding them light uh, to begin with because we don't want to plug them right up. But as we get into September we start feeding them very heavy because that's when the queen stops laying. She'll, she'll tape her laying off right till October and that's pretty much it for the brood nest. So what we do is we feed them heavy with these pails or open feed and we backfill that nest. They don't need open space anymore. Um, so we backfill all that brood nest uh, with syrup. And that cluster, uh, we'll be wintering clusters from six to eight, uh, some of them are boxes full of bees. Um, they'll feed on, that's all they need is that box full of, of feed. Come March, April, uh, they'll come out of winter and they'll have used up that syrup in the middle of that nest to be able to start the new brood nest. So I always concentrate um, on feeding these guys right up. Like I don't skimp on the fall feed. Feeding in the fall is probably the, uh, the easiest time to get feed into the hives. There's a ton of summer bees and they're ready to work and they'll take that feed and they'll store and cure it. Um, what I'll do in the spring as they come out, there'll be hungry hives and there'll be full hives. And what I do is I go through and I pull honey from the, uh, the full hives, like the hives with lots of feed, and I'll drop them into the hungry hives, frames of feed. I don't, I don't syrup feed in the spring. I find it very inefficient and the bees just don't want to take syrup in the spring. They, and they get dripped on and it's not very efficient. If there's a starving colony, you have to put honey around that uh, cluster. And that's what I do, it's a little bit more work, but um, I find that's the most efficient way. Feed them up in the fall and then get them through winter. That's our main focus, only focus, is to get those hives through winter. And then spring comes and you start fussing and farting around again. It's get them through winter and then start managing them again in spring. So what I do is I go through the yards and I randomly weigh hives. Um, I want to know what these guys weigh. Uh, no guessing. Um, this hive, this I just weighed, it weighs 80 pounds. My target weight is uh, 90 to 95 pounds. So that gives me a pretty good idea of whereabouts I'm at with my feeding. So I'll go through and I'll randomly weigh some hives in the yards just to know where I'm at and then I'll plant my feet. Uh, Accordingly. So these guys are going to be getting another round of feed on them. I want to weigh these hives so I know what they weigh, uh, but I don't want to weigh every hive. That's way too much work. Uh, so by weighing random hives through the yard, um, I get a pretty good idea on whereabouts the hives are. I manage my apiary as a complete unit, so when I go out and I, I assess my hives for a certain weight, um, that gives me a pretty good ballpark of where I am and where I want these hives. Every hive needs a little bit more, needs a little bit less. Never, not every hive is standard, but by applying a standard method across the whole apiary, I can get all the work done and satisfy all the needs uh, without having to work uh, each hive individually. So off the start, I will bulk feed with these pails and it gets a lot of feed into these hives really quick. and. Simply put the bees feet off this screen inside here. I like
like feeding the pails off the start because I know they get two and a half gallons right off. And then what I'll do is I'll finish up with the open feeding. Uh, this is a neat little trick. Uh, what I do is I put uh, these uh, wood floats and just a little bit of straw around the outside to keep the bees from drowning. Um, so then this feeder has a few dead bees in the bottom. What they do is they fight and they fight and they pull each other down into the syrup and drown. So the trick to uh, preventing drowning is to prevent the fighting. So that is by providing lots of surface area. Four totes is, a, is pretty good. Gets them lots of surface area. And then we're left with just a little bit of dead bees. But you're gonna have some. This open feeding can't be done with neighbors because otherwise you feed your neighbors. And you don't wanna do that. Uh, but if you find yards that are isolated, this is a real neat trick. So I've been through a few yards now uh, assessing hive weight and looks like my uh, apiary weight is roughly around the 80 to 85 pound range. My target weight is 95 pounds or a bit heavier. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to provide uh, open feeding to these yards and take advantage of the next few weeks of warm weather. Um, every nice day now uh, these bees will be sucking back more syrup and by middle of October I want these hives at 95 pounds. As I assess for weight I also like to just take a peek at the winter nest and see what I have. So I'll tip back just a few colonies um, just to see what we got going here. Boxes of bees. Just tip back random hives. Just have a good feel. Oops. These guys are nice and heavy. My brood work uh, pretty much ends uh, middle of August or so. I do a, a hive assessment uh, after the boxes come off and I see what I need to see and then I close the nest up. I don't do it. I hardly dig into the nest as we uh, uh, as we go as the nest go as a hive goes into the fall. Um, I'm basically just looking for poor hives. I'm looking for dead hives to call out. And anything that's good, there's no I've there's no use for me going down into those. So so uh, the best the more we stay in the nest the best this time of year.